my whole thing, like... Now, granted, to, um, the, uh, to be fair, an idea some people posed for the Samurai Jack, and I wouldn't have been too against this was an idea of, like, he never gets back to the past, but it just barely out of reach. But he still ends up beating Aku in the future, at least saving the future. I feel if you done something like that, because we would have gotten at least some form of resolution, to be fair, that would have been acceptable. That, that's, that's an okay idea. Though we, like, uh, this is very that. much, though, like, we have, this is very much a The range on that thing, though! Jesus! Yeah, parent, uh, oh! Ah, uh, damn it! Yeah, apparently that guy, a, um, its range got buffed. I was just too distracted, yeah. but... Uh, um, with the Samurai Jack thing. Woo! Another weird thing was the ending is apparently... It was like the series was meant to go on like longer, but it got cut down to like 10 episodes. So it kind of seems like he had more ideas, but he couldn't do. But Gindy himself said that apparently he wanted it to like be the 10. So I'm, I'm not sure on that one, but I've just heard some rumors that the initial plans were very different. Some executive meddling guy, um. You know, got Why is that changes. working so well? Because you're in four player, the launch rate is jacked up. Ah, oh, they're going the. Yeah, they're they're Hugo. What? They're they're the Weeb Clan. They were the Hugo Clan, right? Thing. That's the, that's something from Naruto. I, no, Yuga! Yuga's Naruto. I'm sorry. Eh, either way, it's still weeb. Yuga clan is Naruto. Yuga clan is... Yeah, I didn't know that those two actually sound really similar. There's a cat in here. Yes, there is. Ready? Go! I, I just, I love this of its wisdom... Er, prevails because you're fighting. Pa! 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 You see, that's... As I said, it was the AI. That's kind of my problem. Of uh, Sometimes it's like you actually try to play the game and the AI is some form of frame-perfect god that can parry all of your attacks. But then there are times you do stuff like that and it's like... You just kind of win. Yeah. Okay. I was honestly expecting them to do a back throw. Ha! Zelda's got awesome throws. That has always been the most satisfying thing to me, to kill someone off a boundary like that. Boop. Our commentary is all over the place. Like I said, they were... After a certain point in classic mode, there isn't really- Some streams help prove some of my petty arguments, there which is cool. There isn't really a lot to talk about with classic, because yeah, it's like, you know, we can point out the references of like, oh, this one is you're fighting a bunch of like dumb characters and also like villain characters and all of that. But after that, you don't really have a lot to talk about unless it has a really, you know, obscure reference in it, like the fucking Mega Man 2 thing. I can't hear this without thinking about classic era Bruno Floss. Mm -hmm. Which that's uh, not halfway as hard as then. Which that's funny, cause the guy I want to play World of Light. Did he, his shield just? Yeah, if Link is standing still, on his shield deflect projectiles. It blocked the tornado. That's a projectile. Bullshit. It is kind of hard to hold commentary unless I have like a specific point, but hmm. like lately 
specific like, point about the character or again the like theme behind or anything we were talking about. Hmm. I wonder, is there, a, like, is there a max score you can get on this by picking up every, um, like, every... That was what, the... What are you collecting, sons? That was the coolest thing. Never talk to me or my forest of sons again. Have, have you met my forest of sons? Yeah. <laughs> and it's the Pikachu forest. Which reminds me of something I need to go do in the Pikachu forest out of sheer boredom. Which what? get which gets you nothing. I just want to do it to say I did. What? Also, why is this not a regular stage? <clears throat> why? But he's obviously going to become. There's a in the Pikachu forest. There's a caravan that if you interact with it, Pikachu come out. You really should have saved yeah. that. If you in oh, and do details with this boss to talk to actually talk about the game because I don't think I was able to say these on recording. One, you can actually do two grounded uh, dodge rolls and you'll get behind him, and it um, and two. You actually, now that he is vulnerable, you do not have to hit his tail. You can actually hit him in the head when he is vulnerable like that, just like an Ocarina of Time. Probably my least favorite of the bosses. Mm hmm. Cool. You know, like, because of its wider hitbox, would then fire actually be able to like, hit through him? Oh no, it just. Oh, it just barely uh, escaped by his chode. No. Might have been able to hit him as a little. He, yeah, he's almost dead anyway. Jesus. Okay. Sure. Well, beat the thing. You know, when you play that fight in Oh Green of Time, and it's like it's yeah, basically pitch black, fucking dark, and you just get flashes of Ganon in the lightning. You're like, wow, this is actually kind of intimidating. You then go look back to Orinor, and it's like. That's a giant pig, man. <laughs> yes. Yes, <isn't> it <clears throat> Lately, a bunch of streams proved my petty arguments. I'm sure they have. It's things we have talked about! Like a bunch of casual people enjoying Let's Go Pikachu as a bridging point because they haven't played Pokemon ever, or they haven't played in a long time. We'll just knock out a couple more carrots. Machu beat you. The worst one. Is the best thing. Fuck, I hate Pichu. It's subtle, but that is yes, so cool. I, I know. But and then you have hibiscus. It's I just think about that one of uh, Charles Martin A. Vine. Just either pick the spiky-eared Pichu or rep for the b best villain team. You know what? In case anyone yeah, again, is... this is one of those young... In case anyone is too young to remember... Oh, Jesus Christ. First day again, you really shouldn't be watching us. In second, uh... <laughs> no one should be watching us. We're yeah. just not appropriate. For anything. Words, uh, better on the offensive ones. Oh, so all of them. Ugh. Uh, basically, um, back when Heart Gold and Soul Silver were seriously, back when Heart Gold and Soul Silver were released, which those were uh, for people that don't remember, though, 
uh, those were the uh, Generation 4 remakes of Gold and Silver. They had a special... They had two special events. One of the special events was a, a shiny Pichu. Nothing too odd or weird about that. I believe it came with Volt Tackle. That one did come with Volt Tackle naturally, right? I don't remember the Pikachu colored Pichu event. The, the shiny uh, Pichu, basically, I think its gimmick was it came with Volt Tackle. It was kind of hard to get on them back then. But the other special event you could get was a spikier Pichu. This was a custom Pichu that could not evolve and could not leave your game. It so much could not leave your game, you couldn't even trade it into... Say you pick it up in Art Gold, you couldn't trade it into your friend's Soul Silver. You can't bring it in the Union Room, it is banned for life! You can't even use it in multiplayer? Nope. So it's literally a fucking trophy. Yeah! And they say, like, if you brought it in the Union Room, you would destroy, like, time and space is the excuse that is said. And also, this, like... And also, again, this, like, a Pichu, as that I said. How is the Squirtle not dead? 116. <laughs> so it must be an Eevee training the Squirtle. Yeah, I told you guys! Eevee training is good! You see? Mr. Hammond wants us a lightweight? I thought there's more medium class. And so yeah, for those that don't remember, that, that, like the shit was the PC. God, but making me feel old. It's not like the spiky-eared uh, peach you was useful. In fact, like because you know you can't use it in multiplayer, it can't evolve. It's a peach you, so its stats are garbage. What is the point of this thing, literally? Salvi related events, kind of. Wait, that was how. That's how you unlock Celebi in those games? I think. What the fuck kind of bass awkward nonsense is that? There, there was no way, wait. One of the... Okay, so I'm gonna have to go look this up. You can throw text on screen to correct anything. Later. Because the confusing thing about Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you have the Pikachu colored Pichu, which and the spiky that? ear Pichu, the two big things that combine between them, there is a time travel event with Giovanni and this weird Celebi tie-in event. Mm. The Pichus are tied to the... But the shiny uh, Pichu, that one, you know, because it's just a shiny Pichu, that one can evolve. So, you know, you can make that one ride you by the end. That one's actually useful. You need it uh, You need it as a Pichu for the weird... I think it was tied to the time-traveling Giovanni. I will look up what exactly... It earned something. Mm. And again, I think one of them came with Hulk Tackle. Which back then was actually really hard to get a hold of. And also, another... Damn it, Meta Knight. You are literally the lightest character in the game. Actually, no. The lightest character in the game is, um, Jigglypuff. Pichu is the second lightest. Also, like, why does Pichu hurt itself when it attacks? Because it, the Pokedex entry says it does that. It's a baby and has yet to master not murdering itself. So, Akari, you don't have to be accurate with everything. It is a baby and it d cannot master the electricity coursing through its veins. So, Akari, you don't. Ah, oh, it's a Mewtwo! You don't have I'm to. I'm making Mewtwo a thing, guys. M O O T O O. So, Akari, you don't have to make everything. It's like accurate. Video Outpost 2. Does that mean, mean it's, it's the second, second one? one or or is it also Video Outpost? This is a mistake so bad, not even, even I, I would make it. Damn it. Damn it. Right there. 
Poke. That music that's playing, that's Poke Floats, right? I think. That makes me think of Melee. Well, this is the Melee match right here. Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> uh, Damn it. Oh, well, you know, let's be honest. If um this was anywhere near actually canon, this is how this would go down. Yes! Oh, I see <laughs> we're in the anime timeline. <laughs> the baddest timeline! Uh, Soon. Soon, guys. Are you a bad enough hombre to sell to save El Presidente from ninjas? Yeah. I'm sorry, this is the baddest timeline. Mm. I mean, when you sit there and think about it, unless you go back to those later, which I don't think you uh, do, that was basically they made those areas purely for a joke. Yep. Ah, uh, Machu P2. Like that had some of her better commentary, especially the end there. We were kind of sleep deprived and making terrible puns. And just the uh, chikarura. Uh, no one watching this is gonna understand what the blue hell that's about. Which one of these is gonna go up first? Is the smash actually gonna go up before that? Actually, you know what? Based on the order of events. Um, if I edit what I think I'm going to edit, Smash might be up after that. Oh. So it's not a spoiler, then. To talk a bit more about Pichu, a bunch of people hate Pichu and most other baby Pokemon because they're pointless. I can generally agree with this, but Pichu was the one exception I always kind of felt to that because... For people that don't remember, because they made this easier to get a hold of now, back in the, uh, essentially... Days, back in the olden days, the only when, we, hmm. when we had to ride horse and buggy... The only way uh, to get the move Volt Tackle onto a Pikachu was through a Pichu, and Volt Tackle was a really powerful physical move. That while well, I personally don't like it, still is decently useful on Raichu, so... Ah, forgot about that. So I feel Pichu at least had, like, an okay use like that, and a few other baby Pokemon were like that, actually being kind of okay in terms of they have one or two exclusive moves only they can learn. Mm-hmm. But now, in Sun and Moon, and, well, I think... No, wait. In Sun and Moon, there's a... Pikachu fanatic who owns like five Pikachus, she'll teach Volt Tackle. They took her out of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But it's because it's the Pikachu, um, it's the. The movie star Pikachu in the lounge chair. Yeah. Pikachu. Yeah. That's not bad. Mm. We've been yeah. getting a lot of music from this, which that's good. It's time for the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic. So anyway, do you guys prefer Zelda and Sheik being separated or do you prefer Zelda and Sheik being more or less one character like they were in Melee where you could switch between the two at any time? In my opinion, separating them lets them stand out as unique characters on their own, and most people who played Melee generally preferred one or the other anyway, so separating them was ultimately the best idea. That happened in Smash 4, and this game pretty much continued that trend, but I'm overall happy about that because I think they're better off as single characters, since both of them offer unique gameplay, and this lets you master them on an individual level, and in my opinion, that's really good. 
but I'm starting to ramble. Anyway, you can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments, or you can leave them on social media. All my social media links are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shell for a minute. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and leave some comments. If you want to keep up with our videos, hit the subscription button and ring the notification bell. And if you follow me on social media, that helps our communities grow. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. See you all next time.